Hi, everybody. It's July 28, 2018. I want to start by thanking everybody for their support. Last night, your comments, I really appreciate it. It was much needed, so much appreciated. And it was funny because I'm reading these comments and I'm thinking, why are people writing such wonderful things? I completely forgot that in the beginning of the video, I had asked for support. Oh, God, my brain. Anyway, thank you very, very much. It really, look, I've said it for years. Since 2012, I have been saying, you guys have kept me going. So I really, I thank you very, very much. Car fire. Now it's over 80,000 acres. 80,000 acres. Okay, Friday evening, it was 48,000. Saturday morning, it's 80,000. Wow. Threatening 5,000 structures. Yesterday, the numbers were at 65, the structures that were leveled. Now, the number is at 500, and it's threatening nearly 5,000. You know, I want to read a few bits of these articles. I will link below to everything. You know, it's like a five-day-old fire. It jumps from 48,000 to 80,000 in, what, 12 hours? Okay. It's 5% contained. That's it. 5% contained. She could hear popping of the exploding propane tanks. Keep that in mind. She could hear the popping of exploding propane tanks. Mainstream media is telling us that it was started by a vehicle mechanical failure. I said in a video yesterday, I spoke to a subscriber who lives in this area. She heard on her local news that somebody had a flat tire and it was a spark from the flat tire that suddenly this massive fire explodes and it's racing out of control, taking everything at, out from its path. Um, something more is happening, obviously. Okay, a vehicle can start a fire, but we are seeing these fires literally explode within 12 hours, consuming you know, 40,000 acres. Um, but we're also seeing these fires level homes, like a bomb hit it, the cars, it completely like there's no wheels, there, it's melted, um, there's no windows, there are no door handles. These are not normal. These are not normal fires. So you would hope that it would beg questions in people's minds. Um, it, 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 it's getting on the top 20 list of most destructive fires. And the most destructive fires in California on that list, many have happened within the last few years. So think about it. For those who believe in the global warming climate change lie, and it is a lie, don't you question how all of the global warming, it, it happened so quickly, so fast, that now we're seeing such massive destruction, whether it's fires or flash floods. Don't you see, it, you know, and I posted a video on what was happening in, um, oh God, was it Wisconsin or Michigan? The roads, how rain now is just taking out streets and leveling bridges and literally just breaking up concrete. Don't you think something else is happening? I know that you guys do, but 
something is also wrong with an awful lot of Americans because they're still allowing these authority figures to just think for them. And that's killing us. <laughs> that's really destructive. Global warming climate change would happen incrementally. We wouldn't see such massive destruction happening immediately. Now, we know about the geoengineering. We know about all of the chemicals and the heavy metals being dumped. We certainly know that California has been hit hard. Shasta County, we know the forests are dying, but we know of the nanoparticulates that are being sprayed, the barium, the, the aluminum, the lithium, all of which is extremely flammable. So they have made these forest areas extremely flammable. Then they talk about the drought, claiming it's global warming. No, man can create drought. And sorry to all of you who refuse to accept that man is controlling the weather when there when when now we are living in an age of the internet and all of that information is readily accessible you can get to it within five minutes and you refuse to do that you just need to believe in the lie that is not okay especially when you see so many people who are getting destroyed by all of uh these weather events, man is using weather as a weapon. We are at war. And this is what you are seeing. But even here. So, they're using C-130 tankers, helicopters, hoses, shovels, in an effort to halt the fire's advances. Really. Mainstream media has reported that man can create rain. Why aren't they using that technology? It's available. It's being used. Look at all of the flash flooding. So they're taking all of the rain to flood out homes and leaving the West to burn. And that is exactly what's happening. This is deliberate. But when you get that Jerry Brown asked for Department of Defense assistance with their air assets, why didn't they use that last year? Come on, please. I, I so, how do you get people to, you know, you just want to shake their head and go, you know, you got to, you got to wake up your critical thinking skills, your logic, your common sense, and stop listening to these authority figures. Now, people are being destroyed. So, his house is gone. Uh, yeah, beans, next to beans, the whole block. All my bikes are gone. Yeah, I got two of my good ones out. I took them with me. But two of my other ones are gone. I don't either. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do now. Can you imagine how many people are saying that? The economy is not doing well. More people are suffering the consequences of the deliberate manipulation of this economy. <laughs> I think I'll pause you for a second. Well, you can thank me. I spared you of listening to this guy rev his engine. Yeah, I'm so macho. I'm so cool. I don't care about anybody and the effect that I'm having on the environment. Just listen to my car. God. Wow. Can you still hear that? I mean, this guy, all right, look. Whew. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do now. When you think of all of the wildlife and the domesticated animals and the destruction with all of these events, we're seeing destruction on such a wide scale now it's when you realize that all of this is deliberate it's an evil that the non-evil 
It's beyond comprehension. How? How? Uh, you know, I want you to listen to um, this video, and you will hear this guy who is the fire chief of Cal Fire. Watch this guy's affect. Watch him smile. You do not get into positions. As the fire chief of Cal Fire, you do not get into that position unless you are somebody who is going to speak the official narrative of what is taking place and you are part of, you know, the, the useful idiot in continuing the agendas that are taking place, this war that we are in. That's just a fact. Because you're not going to be putting as fire chief someone who's going to be speaking, these fires are not normal, something else is happening, that you're not going to hear that. 45,000 acres last night. 80, over 80,000 this morning. It's critically dry, it's a tinderbox. We're recovering, we haven't recovered from four years or five years of drought. So uh, when we have a fire like this, the, 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 the rates of spread are phenomenal. We're seeing this fire that moves sometimes six or seven miles a day. Last night, this fire experienced really a tornado. Winds were swirling very intensely, we moved fire almost in a fire NATO or a vortex, uprooted trees, uh, moved vehicles, destroyed portions of roadways, and really you know, impacted civilians and firefighters uh, on the ground. Very dangerous conditions, rapid growth, fire spotting in multiple directions, extremely dangerous. Okay, um, before I let you listen to this woman whose home was uh, damaged, not from the fire, but that fire NATO or tornado. But when you look at that guy and listen to him, he almost sounds really excited about the destruction that he has seen from these unconventional weapons. So listen to this woman. When that tornado hit, it swooshed over here and sucked back and sucked my garage door into my garage and everything in the garage and rafters is up against the wall. Took the whole roof off, broke the windows, broke trees, broke all the fences. All my patio furniture was out here in the road. To everything. The insulation's out. Insulation is all over in the house where the attic, to get into the attic was. Yeah, the chimney is over in that yard over there. So, you see them walking on the streets here? Just her home? That was a tiny, tiny tornado or fire NATO. Well, it couldn't be a fire NATO, right? Because there's no fire. All right. So, the fire created a tornado, and it only hit her home? Her neighbor's homes are fine. And look at the streets that they're walking on. If there was some kind of wind that literally took some of her roof off and sucked out, sucked her, wait, her driveway, I mean her um, garage door was sucked in, it went in. No, let's listen to that. I want to make sure that I heard that properly. Not sure if I did. When that tornado hit, it swooshed over here and sucked back and sucked my garage door into my garage and everything. It sucked her garage door into her garage. Okay, um, it didn't push the garage door. Now if a tornado, what, how did it just hit that garage door? Okay, I'm just saying that people really need to <laughs> Get out of this, I'm not going to think for myself, I'm just going to let authority figures give me the answers, give me the reasons, give me you know the explanations, and that's good enough for me. They have to stop that. Common sense, critical thinking needs to somehow come back. It needs to somehow come back. But if we're going to say that this was a tornado, you would see so much debris all over the place 
but you don't see it on the street. You don't see, it, you know, everything else is clean. It's just her home. Now, I did ask you to keep in mind the exploding propane tanks. Keep in mind what happened to this woman's home. I will link below to everything. Historical background of scalar electromagnetic weapons. I have posted videos on this, so I am just going to point out that these scalar electromagnetic weapons that they are using, well, um, Brezhnev said they, well, in 75 he called for a ban on these weapons. Understand that everything that you see is a staged play. Brezhnev was very excited about these weapons. But of course, on that public stage, he's got to call for a ban because they are weapons of mass destruction more terrifying than nuclear arms. And what was said by uh, the United Nations 13th session of the General Assembly, the foreign minister, he said, ominous new weapons of mass destruction. Brezhnev said, scalar electromagnetic weapons more frightful than the mind of man has ever imagined. I posted videos. Donald Trump, his uncle, John Trump. John Trump was the man who was selected to go in and review Tesla's papers. Tesla, his papers were about scalar electromagnetic frequencies and weapons. And John Trump said to Donald, it's going to be a scary world. We are living that scary world. And haven't we heard quotes from Donald saying things like, there will be things you'll see. Oh God, I can't remember the exact quote, but he never explained what. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I can't remember, but I'm sure one of you will <laughs> post it in the comment. Um, so this explains a lot of what we are living. These scalar electromagnetic weapons. It explains the mystery booms that that people have been hearing all over the world. It explains the earthquakes, the volcanic eruptions. It explains, well, the fires, scalar electromagnetic frequencies. They can explode fuel propellants and explosives. It can dud all electronics, kill all personnel all at the same time. So when we see these fires take out homes that look like they have been bombed, the cars that we are seeing, but we see these plastic garbage cans and we see all of the vegetation, the trees and the shrubs untouched, well, that should beg questions in people's minds. What else can scale or weapons do? They can produce a phenomenon of kindling, kindling, charging up, charging up the atmosphere, the uh, charging up chaff, which is also mentioned in this, uh, in this paper. Chaff, what they are spraying, the nanoparticulates, the aluminum, the, 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 the well, I think chaff, the aluminum is the main ingredient of chaff. I don't, you can't quote me on that. So the scalar electromagnetic frequencies hit the chaff and they can produce kindling. They can, in, <laughs> they, it can produce invisible fireflies electromagnetic energy kindling. Firefly pulses of electromagnetic energy 
leading to electrical failures, leading to fires. It can produce lightning that can also create fires. But here, the U.S. Navy dispensed chaff drifting towards San Diego in 1985. And that was associated with significant failures of electrical systems and components in the city. Power was erupted to as many as 60,000 homes. So, a specialized structure such as a piece of sophisticated chaff will reflect scalar waves of frequencies within its cut bandwidth. If scalar frequencies within the chaff bandwidth were present on, well, the woodpecker carrier grid, the Russians had the woodpecker, um, you know, which when we finally got HARP up and running, especially the second construction of HARP in was it 1997? We balanced the power of these electromagnetic weapons. Um, so the scalar electromagnetic weapons within the chaff bandwidth can create invisible fireflies, electromagnetic energy kindling these pulses of electromagnetic frequencies can cause an awful lot of damage. Destruction. They can cause substantial winds and air turbulence. Air turbulence. And they can suck out energy within they can have a sudden energy withdrawal in a region above the ocean or anywhere that they use these electromagnetic energies and when they cross the beams they can suddenly have this energy withdrawal in a region. So they can be very precise with their targeting. A home, a garage door, sucked in, sucked in, not blown in, nothing around the garage door is um, disturbed at all. Something else is happening here. When you look at all of the people posting videos on where the hell did the water go? Hurricane Irma along beaches, Florida. Suddenly the water disappeared. Scalar electromagnetic weapons. And it can, it can, these weapons, they can do an awful lot. They can create anomalous lights in, in the sky. Uh, they can create earthquakes. And wow, all of those birds dropping dead falling from the sky, these frequencies, they can melt metal. It can melt metal. They can cause droughts. They can manipulate and redirect jet streams. So, oh, a swirling cloud. The swirling fire natives. They can create coal spells. They can create air masses that are hot, cold. So look, um, sorry to go over all of this. I know that you know it, but look, what are we going to do when we see so many people having to suffer the consequences of what is taking place? What are we going to do here? What, what can we do but just keep putting out the information in the hopes that people will begin to wake up because, well, will you be the next man standing looking at your home gone? All links 
are below in the description box.